ಶ್ಲೋಕಾರ್ಧೇನ ಪ್ರವಕ್ಷಯಾಮಿ ಯದುಕ್ತ ಗ್ರಂಥಕೋಟಿಭಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜಗನ್ಮಿತ್ಯ ಜೀವೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ನಾಪರ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ದಾನಂದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಿಯೋ ವೇದಾಂತಿಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ಏತಿಸ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನನ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ please give attention if the non eternality of all substances is eternal then all things cannot be non eternal so in reply the vedantis is telling the non eternality of all things is also non eternal just as fire goes out after burning the wood marishi says if the neo vedantis hold the material cause of the world is brahman that is the god then the god being real the effect that is this world which is created from the god should also be real if you call the world illusionary like a dream or like the appearance of a rope as a snake then the illusion this misperception is an attribute of god himself it cannot be separated from the substratum that is the cause which is god if the holder of the illusion is real then the illusion should also be real and if the illusion is unreal then the holder of the illusion should also be unreal what a beautiful point by marishi here i hope you are under, you are understanding so marishi further writes without actual seeing or actual hearing no dreaming is possible in the wakeful state whatever things are real that come in our contact and we observe them after this their impressions remain in our subconsciousness and come into cognizance as a dream just as in deep slumber we experience no cognition deep slumber means deep sleep we experience no cognition of outer objects and yet they do exist outside us similarly during the dissolution that is the final destruction period the material cause which is called as materia radica in english and prakriti in sanskrit remains existent if the dream were possible without impressions as per you a born blind man should see things in the dream but he never sees it therefore in dream we have only impressions while the objects of which they are impressions reside outside i'm not too sure if you are able to understand this but it's it contains extremely deep secret and also it contains a beautiful blow to the neo vedantism i don't think anyone can reply to this kind of statement because if the vedantists say the world is unreal and god is real then god creates the world that means god also should be unreal that is the point marishi is trying to make so god is not unreal and world is also not unreal god is real world is real because it is created not from god it is created from the materia radica or prakriti that is the concept of the vedas thank you so much namaste om